Hello, my name is Victor Tsaran. Um, today I'd like to show you again uh, this device. Uh, everyone knows it by now, it's Apple's iPhone 4G. There are thousands of, of reviews on the internet, on YouTube, and everybody talks about its screen, the memory, the connectivity, the bugs and whatever else. I'm going to talk about something else today. And what I would like to talk about is how you use iPhone with something known as Braille display. Braille, di Braille display, well first of all Braille is the alphabet that's used by blind people to read printed text. It looks like a bunch of dots and you would print something up and these dots would shape letters. Well refreshable Braille display in this case is the device like this and it's got all kinds of dots on it uh, we couldn't really get a very good shot of it, so if you don't see the dots, well, too bad. You gotta trust me. Try to type something. I'm just zooming in on it right now. Camera. Photos. <laughs> iTunes. Clock. Double tap to open. Social. Folder. And so Four these uh, these dots uh, these dots change as you can see as I hit different keys. Well, in this case, what I have done, I've used the iPhone's uh, voiceover screen reader and its new Braille support. Uh, I, I paired a Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth Braille display to the iPhone and basically whatever I do on the iPhone will show up on the Braille display so that if I touch icons on the iPhone the Braille display will show you what I'm actually touching well you can also hear it with voice Messages. like Double here but if you Double feel this display the you will also feel it like now for example I know that I'm on photos icon well, another cool thing about this is that not only you can feel what shows up on the Braille dis display, but you can also drive the iPhone from the Braille display. You may have noticed I have a couple of additional buttons here on the left and on the right, and these buttons allow me actually to navigate through the iPhone screen. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put the iPhone can away. Can you show the buttons? Here, just here are the course. buttons. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, here's the iPhone, so I'm just going to put it away. Mm -hmm. For me and all I'm gonna be doing right now is hitting those buttons and you will see things changing on the screen so f for example now I am on the um, home screen and I can use different shortcut keys here to move between different icons on on that home screen iTunes so here is here are the iTunes clock clock double tap social folder social four items. folder double tap to four square double tap news folder news double and tap so on open. and so forth four, social clock iTunes photos camera so let's just Double say I would open. like to go inside the clock. Photos, iTunes. Double clock. And Double I'm tap to hit open. the button that clicks for me. Just like magic. Social folder clock. Clock alarm edit button. All right, here we go. And now I can use more alarm, keys edit. to drive through this interface. So I'm on alarm add button. Add button. Alarm. Six forty-five a.m. Inactive. Alarm 6.45 a.m. So... Alarm. 6.45 a.m. Inactive. Switch button. Off. Double tap to toggle setting. So I can switch this alarm. On. I put it on. And if I wanted to come back to home screen, I can do Clock. that. And let's do something. Double tap iTunes. Here's Double tap iTunes. To and I'm just going to play some music here. iTunes store. Loading. Podcasts. More. Back button. Podcasts. Selected. What's top tens? Two of three. Button. Selected. Top tens. Top mm. tens. More. Back button. Top tens. Heading. What's hot? One of three. Selected. Categories. iTunes. Arts. Business. Common. Education. Games and hobbies. More top tens. Account. BTS. iTunes store terms. Music. I education. Right. So Comedy. let's just see if I can. Education. Pick something here. Education. education. Top ten. Ed Four. Learn Spanish. Survival guide. Learn Spanish. How far can we go with it? Can Learn I Spanish. walk to the other Survival room? Guide. Education. Back button. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Let's try. So I'm taking the iPhone to the other room to make sure that there are no tricks involved. <laughs> cool. Cool. Learn Spanish. Oh wow. Survival guide. Heading. David Spencer. Learn Spanish. Survival guide. David Spencer. Learn Spanish. Survival guide. Super Release cool. Twenty-third. 2010. I'm just holding the iPhone in my hand and I'm in a completely different room. Reviews. And yet I have no control over it. Track 1. A trip to the beach 2. June 23rd, 2010. 11 minutes. 55 seconds. Clean. Place a preview of the track.
loading movie. Dumb. Button. iTunes Store. Learn Spanish. Right. Survival Guide. Education. Back All button. Right. And so the coolest thing about this, so you can do pretty much anything on the iPhone. You can read iBook, you can read uh, books from the iStore, you can watch YouTube movies by just using Braille Display. What's also cool about it, you have heard uh, there's a voice, right? But for example, if I couldn't hear the voice for some reason or I wanted to be in a quiet place uh, or I don't have headphones, I could completely mute speech, speech off. like this and I could do all the same stuff that you guys have seen me doing before, but this time without any voice whatsoever. So as you can see right now I'm switching there's no speech and yet I can see exactly on the braille it's like what I'm doing so I can perform clicks I can you know browse through information I can go to different screens and all that kind of stuff. Well hopefully you enjoyed this is braille display and this is iPhone 4G and I'm Victor Tsaran thanks for watching bye bye